Right guys, in today's video, as the title would suggest, I'm going to be comparing three drivers. I had two viewers that specifically requested that I test the older driver 446.14 from 2020. And then another viewer requested 528.49. He swears by this driver because it's got that little power slider in MSI Afterburner available. Unfortunately, I've got bad news for you, my friend. Even with the power slider at 100, it's not what you think it is. But before we get to those results, um, I first want to just draw your attention. If you uh, just go to my homepage, first and foremost, thank you so much for uh, all the support, guys. I went over 2,000 subscribers about three or four days ago, so I really do appreciate that. What I will ask, guys, if you are subscribed, please just make sure that the little notification bell is selected so that whenever I do drop a new video, you are notified instantaneously. It really will help me with the algorithm and I'd very much appreciate it. For those of you that aren't subscribed and do find this content helpful, please consider subscribing by the end of the video and then naturally selecting that notification icon so that whenever I drop a video, you're notified. But let's get straight to it. So guys, I have changed my, um, my layout a little bit, hopefully to make it look a little bit more professional. So let's get to those results. So as you can see, it's not on the notepad anymore. I'm actually using Google Sheets because I can add in graphs as well as it totals up my totals automatically. So there's no margin of error. It's just a lot better. So guys, first and foremost, the oldest driver, 446.14. As you can see, there are no results here, and the reason is um, I'm on the latest version of Windows 10, and when I try to load up this older driver, it just does not load. It says it's incompatible with my operating system. So I wouldn't even recommend trying out this driver because you're just gonna be frustrated at the end of the day. That brings us to our second oldest driver, which is 528.49. And for the purposes of this video, a very good driver that I recommend, especially on a GTX laptop, is 534, uh, 536.40, because it's got very good 1% one, uh, 1 lows. Um, so just before I get to the results, um, guys, I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop, so your results may vary if you're on RTX card, um, because RTX and GTX do obviously interface differently with the drivers. So yeah, your results may vary. And then just furthermore, all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of the newer games that are quite heavy. So uh, the newer games are on low with the, uh, uh, with FSR 2 set to balance, oh no, to quality, sorry. Uh, with the exception of Resident Evil 4, that's sort of a mixture of medium, high and low. Hogwarts Legacy is on low, uh, on medium, sorry. Dead Space Remake is definitely on low with FSR set to quality. Uh, Ratchet and Clank is on a mixture of very low and low. And then finally, Dead Island 2, I just test on medium because it's quite a light game. So guys, for 528.49, when I add up all the average FPSs, my total average FPS over 15 games tested was 1022. And then when I do the same thing for the 1% lows, when I add up all the 1% lows, my total 1% lows over 15 games was 712. So not a terrible result, but you'll see it's also not a great result. Even though you do have that power slider available in the MSI Afterburner, I think the later drivers by default have it set to max. Because when I drag that power slider all the way to 100, my results are still worse than what I get on 536.40. When I add up all the average FPSs, my total FPS over 15 games tested was 1,038. So you can see the average FPS is higher here already. And then when I do the same thing for the 1% lows, when I add up all the 1% lows, my total 1% lows over 15 games was 726. So you can see guys, um, on 528.49, even way back in the day when I tested this driver, I wasn't a fan of this driver because it had bad 1% lows. Even with that pass slider uh, in the MSI Afterburner slid to the maximum, the 1% lows are 14 lower than what they are on my preferred driver, 536.40. So, 
Um, to the guy that asked me to uh, benchmark 528.49, dude, I really recommend don't use this driver. It's got bad stability. It's not worth your time. As well as the guy that asked me to test 446.14. Obviously, you're on an older board of Windows. So, and also, I think you're using a GTX 920M. So, uh, this is obviously going to work for you. But for people on newer systems, newer, G uh, newer graphics cards, 446.14 is a right off. But guys, um, if you want my recommendation, I am redoing all my benchmarks because I did upgrade to faster RAM. Um, so I'm on 24 gigs, um, but uh, 3200 uh, megahertz RAM as opposed to 266 megahertz RAM. So I am redoing all my benchmarks, but uh, if you want my recommendation, especially if you're on a GTX card, I highly do recommend that you stay on 536.40. It's got the best 1% lows in my testing so far. But as mentioned, I am going to redo all my benchmarks so that might change. Because my RAM speed has changed. But guys, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. And also, furthermore, if you um, have any questions, please consider hitting me up in the comment section. Other than that, guys, enjoy your day. It's people like you. Cheers.